In this short series, we will learn the basics of Brave. Brave lets anyone visually create conversion widgets like opt-ins, promotional sticky bars, surveys, quizzes, interactive content, and more to grow your business and services. With Brave, you can grow your business without hiring any marketing gurus or spend a lot on marketing products. Just import from 20 different types of widgets into your site, visually make necessary changes, and start converting your visitors. Let's take a short tour of Brave which will introduce you to all the features and options Brave has to offer. Once you have installed Brave, you can access Brave's interface by going to the Brave page from your WordPress dashboard. Brave has four different sections and each one has different functionalities. Let's first take a look at the Campaigns page. The Campaigns page lists all your current campaigns, lets you create new campaigns and manage them. To create a new campaign, simply click the plus icon from the top right corner. With Brave there are two types of campaigns you can create. One is floating widgets like pop-ups, sticky bars, sidebars, and floating boxes that are usually positioned over your whole site. The embedded content campaigns let you embed the widgets inside your post or page's body. Once you select a campaign type, the campaign creation screen will open up. Here you will be able to select Brave's preset templates that you can start off with. You can preview the preset templates by clicking the eye icons on them. Each preset can have multiple steps. You can preview each step by clicking these buttons below. You can also view the live template by clicking the Live Preview button. Once you have selected a template and gave your campaign a name, you can click the Create button to create your campaign. Once the campaign is created, you will be redirected to Brave's visual editor where you can make necessary changes to the template to personalize it. Let's go back to our campaigns page to learn how we can manage our campaigns. You can click the Brave icon from the top left corner of the screen to go back to the campaigns page. Your campaign listing will display its conversion performance and view counts beside it. To remove your campaign, First, select the campaign and then click the newly appeared Remove button below. You can also duplicate your campaigns by clicking the Duplicate button. You are also able to schedule your pop-up to only show for a certain period or on certain dates. This is useful if you are running promotions on your website on special occasion or selected days of the week. To enable scheduling, just click the Schedule button and the Schedule settings will pop up. You can set the campaign to be displayed on selected predefined dates. Or you can set the campaign to be displayed on a selected day of the week. Brave also lets you create multiple variations of your campaign to test which one performs better. You can create multiple variations of your campaign by clicking the Split Test button. Now, let's open our campaign again and check out Brave's visual editor. Brave's powerful yet intuitive visual editor lets you create any kind of content inside it. The visual editor has three sections. The editor, where you can visually create your campaign. The goal menu will let you select the goal of your campaign. And the settings page where you can set when, how and to whom your campaign will appear. The editor itself has three panels. The Elements panel, the Canvas, and the Element Settings panel. Brave has 20 built-in elements like text, images, videos, forms, and more. You can simply drag and drop them to the Canvas area to create your campaign. To change the element settings, simply click the element and change the settings from the Element Settings panel. You can also copy, duplicate, rotate and reposition elements from the context menu that appears when you click the right mouse button on them.
Each campaign can have multiple steps. To create a new step, simply click the plus icon. You can change the settings like size, placement, and animations from the step settings panel. If the step width is more than 400 pixels it's a good idea to create a separate layout for mobile by clicking the mobile layout mode. When you create a campaign in Brave, you should always set a goal for the campaign for better tracking and notification. If you want to make the goal of the campaign a button click or a form submission, you can simply select your goal type from the goal menus on top and then select desired goal type. If you set form submission or click as your campaign goal, make sure you selected the element that you want to track. Once the goal is completed by a visitor, the campaign conversion will be updated in real time that you can view from the campaigns page. You can also get a real time notification with visitor details sent to your email. Now let's move on to the campaign settings page. You can select where you want to display the campaign on your site from the placement section. You can set when the campaign will be shown once the visitor enters the page from the trigger section. You can select who you want to show that campaign to from the audience section. If you want to serve campaigns based on visitors' geolocation, their past actions, current URL, you can do so from the advanced filters section. The Frequency section lets you set how many times you want your visitors to view the campaign. Brave also lets you save any form submissions made through the form you added to your campaign. To save form submissions, simply go to the Form Submission section and enable it. Now when a visitor submits any form inside the campaign, it will be saved in your database. This feature is very helpful for surveys, quizzes, and contact forms and backing up newsletter subscribers. The submissions made by visitors can be accessed from the submissions page. You can switch between campaigns from the drop-down list on top. To edit the columns, click the Edit Columns button. You can select which column you want to display for this campaign and reorder them by clicking the Arrows button. You can also export all your submissions as a CSV file by clicking the Export button. To view the submission details click the title of the submission. Brave saves all the form field values submitted by visitors in each entry. It also saves additional visitor data like location, date and time, URL, IP address, and the device they used to submit the form. You can remove the submission by clicking the Remove Entry button. Now let's check out the Analytics page. The Analytics page displays all your campaign analytics in detail. You can change the date range to view the performance for a certain period. To view analytics for a single campaign, select your campaign from the drop down menu from the top. On the top left corner, you will see the total views, conversion count, and conversion rate of the selected date range. The graph will display views and conversion for each day. You can also learn more about the visitors who completed the goal from the section below. Each conversion will be saved with the date of goal completion, the page URL where the goal was completed from, location and device. One thing to note here, that when your campaign goal is set to view the first step, the goal conversion details won't be saved in your database. You need to either set the goal type to form submission, clicks, or view any other steps than the campaign's first step. To disable advanced tracking, simply click the settings icon from the top and disable the advanced tracking feature. Now that we have a solid grasp of the analytics page, let's move on to the integrations page. The Integrations page lets you integrate your ESP like MailChimp, GetResponse, ConvertKit to Brave. 
Other than ESPs, you can also integrate Facebook, Google, and LinkedIn for social login or social opt-ins. You can integrate Google reCAPTCHA to your Brave forms to prevent spam submissions. You can also enable the advanced email validation feature to prevent fake, invalid or disposable emails. Brave's built-in email validation lets you prevent visitors from signing up with fake and disposable emails. You are also able to integrate third-party email validation services like Never Bounce, Zero Bounce and TrueMail for better validation. Now that you have a solid grasp of Brave's backend, you will be able to easily navigate through Brave and effortlessly convert visitors in minutes.